so-called cynics after winning his seventh Tour de France title. He went on to add, I think we've come a long way to revolutionise the cycling part, the equipment part and the training part. We are fanatics. Fanatics. What sort of fanatics? Drug fanatics? <laughs> ego fanatics? Fanatical liars, it would seem. Where were you on the 17th of January 2013? You may not remember exactly where you were, but this was the day that Lance Armstrong admitted to being a drug cheat. At the heart of growing concern about performance enhancing drugs in Australian sport, this is the very basic matter of sport as an even contest. So the idea that some teams or individuals are using drugs in a bid not to just defeat their opponents, but the contest itself needs to be confronted. Punishments need to be meted out. But are we overreacting? It is vital that we answer a double barrel question. What advantages are unfair and what is to account as a level playing field? Should the investigation to the Cronulla's supposedly perform enhanced performance in the 2011 NRL season take into account that they came 14 out of 16 teams that year? In other words, how are we to measure the difference between Armstrong winning the Tour de France seven times and a team used to losing coming third last in an NRL season? The matter of defining a level playing field is more complex. So why has it taken Mount Armstrong to, des to destroy the fabric of all sport? He's not the first person to achieve the sport. The gold medalist marathon runner from the 1904 Olympics was later disqualified for travelling many miles of the race in his manager's vehicle. <laughs> then there are the high profile athletes. Ben Johnson, the 100 metre sprinter from the Seoul Olympics, and Marion Jones, the, 100, the champion sprinter from the Sydney Olympics. But do you know why the Lance Armstrong case is so scary? Why it has destroyed hope and innocence of all sport? Because he never tested positive. He was never actually caught. It would be madness to try and equalise absolutely everything. It would be like insisting every cricket test to, play, to be played at a neutral venue with scientifically tested wickets adjusted hourly so the conditions for both teams are just the same. Life isn't like that. Sport is a complex modern society. Like Australia, requires complex modern procedures. We need to take back our sports. We need to become more sophisticated to catch the cheats. We need to drive them out of all sporting competition. We need, to, we need to give back hope to any young, aspiring athlete. They need to know that while today they might be running out onto Westfield to play a game with their mates, tomorrow, with a lot of hard work, discipline and skill, they can be achieving for the highest level of their sport.